guys! Hello! Good day mga kabeshi! Mga kapanga! Kamusta mo kayo lahat dyan? I really hope that you're all doing well! And welcome back to my YouTube channel! Ngayon, itutuloy natin ang ating series about living here in Ireland part 2. And this is all about, guys, sobrang excited ako dito kasi ito talaga yung isa din sa mga most requested topics nyo about Ireland. And this is all about, ching, 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 pera. So, living in Ireland part 2, your taxes and other deductions found on your pay slip. Are you excited? Let's do this! Una nating pag-usapan dyan ay syempre ang tumataging ting na tax! Sana ba dito sa Ireland, libre na lang yung tax. As in, talagang tax-free na lang sana yung salary natin. Pero hindi eh. Ito talaga yung isang parang bulk or parang malaking percentage na nababawas dun sa ating salary. Minsan yung gross income natin, sobrang laki. Parang, wow, ito na talaga yung pinaghirapan ko dito sa ibang bansa. Pero makikita mo dun sa pay slip mo, merong deduction na tax. Kaya, boom, wale. So, dito sa tax sa Ireland, may mga differences between single and married. So, kapag single ka, sabi nila talaga namang ramdam ko po. Kaya, Benjamin, mag-propose ka na. Yee! Anyway, kapag single talaga, guys, mas malaki talaga yung binabayaran natin na tax dito. Pero kapag married ka na, sometimes mas mataas yung tax credits mo. And for more reliable information, you can actually visit the official website of Revenue. So yung Revenue here in Ireland is parang in line with the BIR in the Philippines. Sometimes yung mga married couple, mas malaki yung nasa-save nila na money. Kapag single ka, sobrang dawi mong deduction. So, revenue website talaga ang official na pwede yung pagtanungan dyan. Okay? And lalong-lalo na kapag dumating na yung mga dependents nyo dito, pwede nyo rin sila i-add. And for more information about their allowance for those children, less than 18 years old, you can also add them as your dependents on the official revenue website. Bunga! Isunod naman natin dyan ang PRSI or Pay-Related Social Insurance. So when I first heard about this one, Base sa pagkakaintindi ko guys ha, para rin tong SSS. So dito sa Ireland, PRSI is usually deducted for those above 16 years old and below 66 years old. So pasok na pasok ka talaga dito best. Hindi mo to talaga pwedeng takbuhan kasi isang bala ka lang. Charot, oh Martin na. So dito naman sa PRSI, depende yun sa pay mo but this is actually between you as an employee and between your employer. So, may contribution ka as an employee and may contribution din yung employer mo. O, ba parang SSS din sa Pilipinas. Hati din yung gobyerno and hati din yung sarili mong contribution. Bongga! Isunod naman natin dyan ang ating ASC or PRD. This is also called Additional Superannuation Contribution or pension-related deduction. So guys, actually, medyo vague yung term or medyo broad yung term dito sa Ireland when it comes to those things. Pero upon checking the revenue website itself, I think sa pagkakaintindi ko ha, ito lang naman yung additional charges. Yung parang nakikita natin sa statement of account when we have pension. So this deduction is actually related to our pension. And guys, heads up lang, dito po sa Ireland, even when you are actually training pa, dun sa payslip mo, magkakaroon na ng pension deduction. So sometimes we have parang a pension and also we have pension. So yung parang letter A dun sa pension is just PRSI class or yung parang yung type ng field mo kung saan ka nagtatrabaho. So for example, me, 
nasa medical field like nursing. So I think yung letter A is PRSI class lang. So correct me if I'm wrong, so okay lang naman yan. But according to the revenue website itself, aside from the pension, they also have additional charges. And guys, FYI lang din, for example, nagstay ka ng two years dito sa hospital. So, for example, nasa Tala University Hospital ka and Tala Hospital is actually under HSE. So, let's say after two years or after three years, if you and your family have actually decided to move out of the country and go back to the Philippines, move forward to UK, go to Australia, or even move to the US, Ang tanong dyan, Miss Mandy, ano pong mangyayari dun sa pension contribution ko every month? Actually, that's a very good question from one of my subscribers. So, I actually searched about and, and dig in in the revenue website itself. As per their official statement, your contribution or your pension scheme will be freeze. So parang maging stay lang siya sa revenue or government dito sa Ireland. And then you can actually come back here in Ireland or inquire through their website and get it once you already reach your retirement age, which is 65 years old. So guys, abang-abang lang, konting patience. Pero at least, di ba, alam nyo na hindi na corrupt ng ibang government officials yung pension contribution nyo or hindi siya na di disregard So, at least, safe siya dito para siyang naka-time deposit. Bonga! And last, but not the least, deduction that you can see on your payslip, we also have USC or Universal Social Charge. So, some of my colleagues actually thinking na parang doble ito aside from the tax itself. So, aside from the tax na talagang binabayaran natin, meron pang pangalawang charge, which is universal social charge. And parang doble nga naman kung iisipin. So based on the revenue website, one of the indications of this is to support businesses or individuals na kailangan ng health contribution or health needs and also for social welfare or social benefits. So anyway, what can we do? This is actually automatically deducted in our payslip as well. So each and every worker here in Ireland needs to abide by this kind of system. And hopefully, moving forward in the next few years, mawala na rin itong USC para naman mas malaki yung gross income natin, di ba? Yun lamang po! Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po sa panonood ng vlog na ito. I hope na may natitunan ko kahit kaunti lang about the major deductions on your paisley para naman pagdating nyo dito sa Ireland, see you all soon! Eh, hindi naman talaga kayo nagugulat basta-basta. Okay? So, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any queries as well. I will see you all on my part 3 of living here in Ireland. Thank you and God bless you all!